And Kai Havertz has been a crucial piece to that puzzle. How many goals or assists has uh, Kai Havertz had? Let me, just, let me just finish this off, please. Against Newcastle, goal and assist. Sheffield United, goal and assist. Brentford, he scored a goal. Even on international duty versus, with, against France, he was scoring goals. He had a monstrous game for, uh, uh, versus, uh, versus, what do you call it, Liverpool before uh, when, uh, earlier, in the, earlier in the year also. Luton Town, he got an assist the other day. This, this game, goal and an assist for the Trussard goal, in case you don't know. Big the fuck up Kai Havertz, man. And sorry for swearing. If any kids are watching, my apologies. But honestly, I cannot stress enough how much Kai Havertz has been a crucial piece to this Arsenal team, and I friggin' love it. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me about Kai yeah. Havertz. Man of the match, by the way. I hear you on all of that, and I want to um, tell you a stat to back all of that up as well. Kai Havertz has more GA than Granite Xhaka last season, and we've not even ended the season yet. Kai Havertz. He had that. He had that. He had that weeks ago, bro. <laughs> I know he didn't. He did. He's only just uh, hit 15 GA, like, in all competitions. I, I think... We should, oh, you're talking all competitions. Team. Bro, in the league, Kai Havertz has nine goals, five assists. Yeah, that's 14 GA. That's what that's what Shaka had last year. Yeah. But Mental. he's only just got... 14 GA. But he's also he's better like his best Chelsea. Left. He's also bettered his best ever Chelsea record. Oh yeah, 100 percent And and the thing that people used to say about Kai Havertz is he's not clinical. His movement is so good in this Arsenal team, he doesn't need that many opportunities. His movement is amazing. He literally just was it always he always seems to be in the right spot at the right time. I honestly think. More people need to put, uh, be speaking about Mikel Arteta and putting some respect in his name for his, uh, for getting Kai Havertz. Because what Kai Havertz has been doing, he literally sat down everybody. Kai Havertz sat down the whole Brighton team. Look at that. He literally <laughs> sat down the whole hey, team. Egal, send that to me. Send that picture to me. <laughs> Kai Havertz sat down the whole Brighton team and said the game's done. Class is in session. The game is finito. Wallahi. You know what the best part of uh, Kai Havertz's goal was, right? Is the fact that Jorginho set it up. The two ex-Chelsea guys set it up. You know, it was beautiful. Honestly, the Chelsea fans are fuming. They're absolutely fuming because these two can, could, like, like, if we win the Premier League, they, can, they have been such a massive part of it as well. Jorginho has stepped in you know, with uh, party being injured for, you know, God knows how long. Um, and he's done absolutely brilliantly in the majority of the games. Kai Havertz has come into this Arsenal team. Like, bro, he went from a shit Chelsea team, right, last season to joining this team. And the expectations for him were so high because all of the rival fans bro. were like, if he doesn't hit, you know, 10 goals or whatnot, he's a failure. And it's like, Fucking hold that. Hold let that. Me sh let me tell you something. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, Chelsea. And this is why. Let me show you why I'm thanking Chelsea. You want to know why I'm thanking Chelsea? For these two. For these two. While you guys are irrelevant in 10th place, Arsenal Football Club have your former players in Kai Havertz, who won you guys the Champions League, and Jorginho, who was the best player in your team the uh, the year and was like second in the Ballon d'Or candidates for um, uh, for when he won the Euros and won the Champions League with you guys. And you gave them to us for cut price deals also. 20 million, 12 million, how much was Jorginho? How much? Kai Havertz was 65 million down the drain, but he keeps scoring? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Keep playing I that need to know. I need to know. How are, how are these Chelsea fans going to feel when after all those years of showing us photos of Anelka, of, of Giroud, of F Cesc Fabregas, Ashley Cole, when we have Kai Havertz and Jorginho lifting a Premier League trophy at the end of the season. Imagine that. When we, uh, if we win this league and we have Jorginho and Kai Havertz lifting that Premier League, you know what I'm going to say? Brought to you by Chelsea.
<laughs> Spon- no, sponsored. Proudly sponsored by Chelsea. Proudly sponsored by your local <laughs> uh, car park, Chelsea. There you go. Your local Fulham car park. That's what it is. Brought to you by your local Fulham car park. Jorginho and Kai Havertz holding the Premier League. And imagine, imagine if we fucking do the unthinkable and win the Premier League. Imagine the fucking meltdown these Chelsea you know fans. Oh, right. Everybody's no, no, gonna no, have. We got, we got, we Bro, got. this team, this team defensively is so good. We shut out Brighton. They were at home. This is a Brighton team that against majority of the teams in the Premier League, they actually caused them some problems. But today we had them have less than we had them, we they had 10 shots. Two of those were on target, and they only had like a total of like 20 something touches in our box in our box for example arsenal had 51 touches in brighton's box let me show you guys the actual stats so you guys can see what i'm talking about cuz this is this is the difference in quality between arsenal at right now and everybody else for example this is what we did to brighton today this is what we did to Brighton today. Limited them to nothing. They had zero big chances. We created seven. We we created seven. Seven big chances. Seven. Do you realize we were struggling to create big chances at the beginning of the season? Where are we now? Do you realize we were struggling? We were struggling as a team to create big chances. Where are we now? Where are we now when big chances created? Where are we now? I need to see this. We are fifth. We are fifth. We were fucking 15th, 17th a couple, uh, uh, just a month ago. Like maybe two months ago. We were so low down the table at creating chances. Look at that. On top of that, ex- uh, expected goals against. We are not humanly normal. We are not normal. We are not normal. We are not normal with the with the with the defensive uh, with the defensive stats that we have. What we're doing defensively, where is it? Let me find it. There was this obviously clean sheets. This is not normal. Fourteen clean sheets. Fourteen. Do you realize how much of a gap there is between the rest of the teams? We have fourteen clean sheets. Seven games remaining. How many more clean sheets could we get? Can I also just add right? We've got more clean sheets than Chelsea have wins in the Premier League. I'm not even joking on that. I'm not even joking. Chelsea have what wins in the Premier League. We have 14 clean sheets. No, that that has got to be that's got to be a joke. It's not a joke. It's not no, 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 no. You, you, bro, bro, you 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 kidding me, right? No, I'm not. I'm oh not. my god. <laughs> oh my god. Are you serious? Are you serious? Have you checked the league table? I just checked. They have 12. <laughs> Arsenal have 14 clean sheets. You're telling me that's more victories than Chelsea have. Sorry, sorry. Let me let me let me get my Thank you for watching. This has been Eagle Hawks Football. If you enjoyed that video, please do make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button. Check out these next two videos right here on each side of me. And of course, you can subscribe right there have yourselves a wonderful wonderful day night evening whatever time it is for you that you're watching this video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like button peace